Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to customize the default Divi Overlays close button uh, so that you can brand it towards your website or to make it match your design a little bit better. And so it's very easy to do. All you do is head on over to the overlay edit screen for the uh, close button that you'd like to customize, and then scroll all the way down to the close button customization screen. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there's a couple different options here. Close button cookie, uh, we will talk about this on a different tutorial, but that's if you don't want the overlay to show up again for the specified number of days after the user closed it. It'll add a cookie to the user's browser so it won't keep showing it and annoying them with the same pop-up. Um, and then uh, the second setting here is to hide the main close button. So if you're using one of our templates, for example, that has a built-in close button, uh, that's more of the modal style, then you can completely hide the default close button. Um, and then in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to customize the close button. So you just check that box and it will show the additional options to customize the close button. And so a few different things here, the text color, uh, that's the first thing you wanna do. Now we're gonna keep it on black. Um, and so, but say for example, you had a black background on your overlay, you could change it to white or any other color. We're gonna keep it black and then we're gonna add a a white background color. However, what I'm gonna do is, since the previewer here has a white background, I'm gonna make this just a little bit gray. That way I can see it and adjust the padding correctly. And then the last step I'll do is make it all the way white. So I'm gonna increase the font size a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the padding. And then I'm gonna put the border radius all the way up because I want a nice round circle, but I'm gonna add a little bit of padding. Now you can see here uh, in the previewer, it, it's not perfect, so it's gonna show it a little bit off center, but when it's on the actual screen on the front end, it will be uh, perfectly centered. So just keep that in mind. So I like the, the amount of padding there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change that background color to all the way white. You can see here I can't see it, and so in order to adjust the padding and border radius, it's good to have a color other than white until you get that uh, finalized. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Update. And then let's go ahead and refresh this. And there we go, there is the customize close button uh, that we customized using the built-in uh, customization style tools. And uh, if we want, we can make it bigger. So I'm gonna just show you what that looks like a little bit bigger. Again, I'm gonna change the color a little bit just so I can make sure I got the right amount of padding. So I'm gonna make it really big. Let's change that to white again and hit update. All right, let's refresh that front end page here. Now you can see what it looks like with a giant close button with a nice big background as well. So there's no mistaking how to close this Divi overlay pop-up. And so that is how you customize the default Divi overlay close button using the built-in close button customization tool. So that's it for this tutorial and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.